best way to enjoy nature is by learning how to survive in it. That's why today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that will make camping as easy as being indoors. Oh shit. What the fuck did you do to my room? I, th I thought you were coming back tomorrow. I'm sorry. So you put a tent? My name is Ashwin and I'm a seasoned nature expeditionaire. From my vast experiences, I've gained a wealth of knowledge that I will now pass on to you. From caving in New Zealand, to discovering wild animals in Africa, from the coldest corners in Alaska, to the hottest deserts in Texas, I'll bring you along on my journey through this planet we call Earth, because this is Ashwin Enjoys Nature. Before any successful camping trip, we need a proper backpack to transport our gear. I'm going to show you exactly what to look for in a backpack today. And to do that, we've come to one of the big box camping stores to go shopping. Now, for legal reasons, I can't tell you which camping store we're at, but <laughs> I can tell you one thing. <laughs> it's REI. This store has a plethora of options. And since my expertise may be a little overwhelming with all these choices, I consulted a store employee for his beginner advice. Wait, so you're okay with being on camera? I would actually prefer if you didn't show my face. I'm not okay. sure I'm actually allowed to sure. show this. Okay. Sure, okay. So we are here today with an employee. Employee, what's the most important thing to have in a backpack? The most important thing to have in a backpack is going to be some kind of waterproofing. You kind okay. of want to protect your backpack from the elements. Sure, okay. Also, waterproof backpacks make great flotation devices in rivers and lakes. Well, that's not actually... Now that we have a backpack that's voluminous, comfortable, and waterproof, it's time for us to hit the trails. Am I off screen now? Cool. God, fuck this backpack. Whether you've been hiking, biking, or doing yoga on a cliff, you need to replace the energy that you've lost throughout the day with food. When it comes to preparing a camping meal, you need to find the right balance between nutrition and simplicity. But you can never compromise flavor, and that's why I recommend Uncle Taj's Instant Curries, the exotic flavors of India in just minutes. To prepare this luxurious delicacy, start boiling some water with your portable propane cooker. Once your water starts boiling, empty it, throw in your curry pouch, and fill it back up with that boiling water. Continue to let it boil for five minutes, and soon, your one-way ticket to paradise will be ready to eat. Oh man, heavens to Betsy. One way a camping trip can get derailed is from incessant insect irritation. Ah, oh, fuck, why did you have to do that? And that's why I recommend using a mosquito repellent with DEET. Now, aerosol cans are bad for the environment, but you can always use these repellent wipes and wipe down your exposed skin. Mm-mm. Drinking lots of water is important while camping, and it's equally important to keep that water cool. That's why you should always bring along a frozen cooler. Now, frozen coolers can be hard to pack efficiently with ice bags because of their amorphous shape, so you should try using frozen rectangular blocks. And that's why I recommend using Uncle Taj's frozen instant curries. If you thought five minutes was fast, wait till you try three. It's essential to get a good night's rest while camping, but for some people, it may be harder to fall asleep in such a foreign environment. So I'm gonna let you in on an old native sleeping trick. Native to India, that is, with Uncle Taj's nighttime pills. I don't just make curry, you racist. As I rest and dream about my day, it's time for us to look back and dream about what we've learned today. From choosing a proper backpack, to repelling insects, to staying energized, and hydrated, these tips will help you and I both enjoy our nature. <laughs>